Welcome back. Today I'll show you how to make background vocals with synthesis inside Polygrid. Yeah, let's listen to this. Okay, let me show you a little bit this patch. I've got an oscillator. Actually, a phase one oscillator is connected to a value multi. This helps me to take velocity from each note of my uh, MIDI clip. And now uh, there is a filter section. I have four passband filter because the human voice has four months. Four months are parts of the spectrum with high concentration of energy. That's why I use this filter section. After that, I have a mixer and a global filter. And at the end, there is a resampling of the signal. In this case, sample and hold helps me to have a sound more similar to human voice. There is also an LFO. Basically, it modulates the resampling, the frequency of resampling. Yeah, let's do this from scratch now. I'll take phase one and I'm connecting to the output. This is the sound. And I take Velo Multi. And now I'm going to make filter section and I'll take first one. Uh, actually, I won't recreate formal regions in my spectrum. I need passband filter, and in this case, the resonance should be near 100% because I need formant in my spectrum. Yeah, okay. I'm duplicating the filter now, and I have four passband filter. Uh, I'm using simple octave ratio now, and I'm going to write directly the name of the note in the frequency of the filter. I'm choosing A3 for the first one, for example, and maybe A2 for the second one, and so on. I think A5 for the third one and maybe it could be A4 for the last one. Now, let's go ahead and grab a mixer and I'm connecting signals. Now, take a look at this. We have four month regions now in according to the frequency of these four passband filters. Let's continue by scaling the amplitude of a channel. I think it could be interesting uh, to have different amplitude. And now I'm fixing some parameters of filters. I put global filter and I'm using a low pass filter, small resonance now. The frequency 600 Hz, K track at maximum. I'll take a sample and old and I put it before the final envelope and I'm using a pulse wave for the frequency of the sample and old. In other words, I'm using a pulse wave for the frequency of resampling. As you can see, if the frequency is too low, the signal is completely destroyed. In this case, if you choose a great value, the signal becomes more interesting.
In fact, as you can see, in the spectrum appear some high frequencies. If I deactivate sample and old, the I region disappears. Now I'm going to increase feedback of the phase one. This is a phase modulation. Now I'm changing a little bit the frequency between the right channel and the left one. I'm gonna put an LFO and I'll modulate the frequency of the pulse wave so that the frequency of resampling changes over the resampling process. I switch my LFO to a bipolar wave and I'm increasing the frequency. Let's move on to the effect section. First of all, I need a reverb to make my signal a little bit wet. Can you imagine a voice in space? Probably you can hear anything. The second one is a tool with the common sidechain and it helps me to take a typical ooh 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 effect Whoa, pretty cool guys, now I have a small delay and the last one is another reverb. Actually I'm combining two different reverbs in this channel because I want a lush reverb and this brings my vocal in the background, whoa. Now I'm gonna put my signal into different track with a different delay time. Please, if you find my content interesting, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let me show you this vocal track and some other tracks in this Organic House project. Yeah, let's see how it sounds. Thank you. 
Hey guys, I'll share with you entire project in a few days. See you next time. Bye.